Okay, how to unbreak your Seagate Central. First of all, you need Acronis, Acronis True Image. You need to buy it or uh, find it somewhere else because you need the full version. Um, and you also need the image from the Seagate hard drive. Um, press Rescue Media Builder. Next. Press this one, Acronis Tree Image 2014, next, next, choose the removal disk, and you press proceed, which I have already done. Then you also need to copy the image over, over to the USB drive, which I've also done. It's here. Anyway. Yeah, then you gotta eject the USB drive, put it over to the other computer. You probably don't need two computers, but it's better to have two. Here is the Seagate central hard drive. Um, start the computer, make it move from the USB drive. <coughs> Oh, by the way, you will also need Ubuntu to do some other configuration later. Okay, start this one. Use your mouse. Okay, we are in here now. Let's make it focus. Okay, when you're in here, got it. Tools and Utilities, Add New Disk, select the Seagate Central Hard Drive, press Next, stupid, OK, Initialize Disk in GPT Layout, that's important. Yes, Unallocated, Next, sorry, I just hit the Next button, proceed, Recovery, press Recovery, Find the image. Next, sector by sector. Next, take everything as backup. Add new location. Just do this real fast. Just assign an allocated space for each one. Next, next, unallocated. Next, blah blah blah. Next, for the MBR of disk 1, choose the Seagate central hard drive or the drive you want to use. Proceed. And while we're waiting, I can show you, you can make a serial input. On the board, Seagate central board. Ugh, it doesn't want to zoom or focus.
Why is it so stupid? Here, you can see the wires which is going into the J2 and into this little device here. So you can connect it to serial. And here is the configuration. That's configuration you gotta use. It's great for debugging. Okay, recover operation succeeded. So then I'm just going to reboot and then I'm going to take this out so it will boot from Ubuntu. Now comes the second important part. Okay, here in Ubuntu you want to find the disks tool. Disks. I can show you one more time. This. Disks. Choose your Seagate Central drive. Here everything is. So, first you wanna. Uh, first, this you have to do it first. You wanna locate this extra space, the storage. So you hit the plus button, blah blah blah, data. I call it data. Our storage. 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 Create. Use ex ext4. Authenticate. So now you got the storage soon. Okay, then the important part comes to make the Seagate able to boot from the GPT. You have to press partition 1 or I think any other partition would work. You gotta check off the legacy BIOS bootable change. Then you're done. Okay. So then I turn off this machine. <laughs> okay, so now I have the Seagate Central motherboard with a little heatsink on and the serial connected and ready to start. Plug in the power, you don't need LAN cable. So then we can see here it's booting. And then, essentially, you're done. You're going to have like a little error message here, but that doesn't matter. Feature error. Anyway, what you're gonna have to do is that you have to mount the data volume. haven't really figured out to make it auto mount like it used to do when it was new
when you want to send messages, you gotta have this plus CR enabled. I use a program t called Terminal B. 19B, but you can also use PuTTY. Just select your COM port here and hit this 3800. No, 3840038400. For, sorry for the camera shaking. Uh, you gotta use 8 data bits, 1 stop bits, party none, flow control, I think that's going to be none. But anyway, here we are. Now it's completely booted. Um, you gotta, you can log in by writing a root. Sorry again for the stupid I can use the manual, manual focus now. Okay, root. All right, down here. Root. Enter. So now I'm in the the interface. Let's mount the hard drive. That is done by. Blkid. Okay, so now you can see SDA9 is label storage. Um, you want to mount that one. Mount. Mount. Oh, sorry. Mount. T E X T four. Um, Dev SDA nine and let's put it in slash media HDD Okay so now it's mounted and DF shows the no DF with a H flag says here it is dev sda9 3.6 terabyte um, you just need to find out where this samba uh, puts its storage and you have to mount the hard drive that place i haven't really figured out where it is yet so yeah, that's it. Goodbye.